always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, we talked about a busy weekend, and we have on the way several headlines that we're tracking. A few showers and storms overnight tonight, especially toward daybreak. Mostly dry during the daytime hours tomorrow. It will be windy and warm. We then watch for the potential for some development of some thunderstorms beginning late afternoon tomorrow and especially through the evening and overnight. Those storms continue into Sunday morning and there is the potential for some folks to pick up on some heavy rainfall. Storm Track Live now showing a lot of this rain has moved off to our east where we're now seeing the rain showers over toward Ionia, Greenville through much of Montcalm and Ionia counties and that is continuing to drift eastward. Lakeshore communities are drying out for now. But we'll continue to watch the potential for some renewed development, especially as we get closer to daybreak. Notice that the shades of orange and red indicate that we'll likely have some downpours from time to time, perhaps some rumbles of thunder, flashes of lightning up until about daybreak. After that, though, we clear out pretty quickly and we even start to break out some sunshine into tomorrow afternoon. So worth emphasizing that much of the daytime is tomorrow is going to be pleasant, warm, very windy with wind gusts as high as 30 to 40 miles per hour but nothing worth canceling plans over. We turn our attention to then is the possibility for a few storms to pop up late tomorrow afternoon. Better chance arrives during the evening and overnight. That carries over into Sunday. Sunday looking like a better chance of seeing precipitation linger around through most of the day. So let's walk you through the rest of your weekend on Futurecast. You see the breaks in cloud cover continuing to develop through tomorrow afternoon. Have to watch for the potential of a pop-up storm. At this time, it looks like the atmosphere may remain capped. What that means is that the energy is primed for storms, but up above in the atmosphere prevents storms from developing. So we're going to have to watch that potential. If any storms can break the cap, we may see a strong to severe storm develop during the evening. Better chance arrives late evening into the overnight as storms explode off to our northwest and then drift off to the southeast. A severe threat looks low, not zero, but low and we likely see showers and storms linger into Sunday morning. We may not even completely get rid of them through the afternoon as the warm front hangs around with additional chances for showers and storms through the day on Sunday. So a busy weekend ahead. Severe weather potential for tomorrow is centered off to our west, but we do have a level two of five risk for areas north of the line from Grand Haven to Kent City over toward Mount Pleasant, a level one of five off to the south. Any storms that develop most likely producing a large hail damaging winds as the primary concern. Isolated tornado can't entirely be ruled out either. We're also going to have to watch the potential for some heavy rain. Some of our models beginning to pick up on the possibility of an inch or more by late Sunday. So uh, some minor flooding may become an issue as we get deeper into the weekend, depending on how things unfold. Your eight day forecast is high temperatures in the mid to upper 70s this weekend. We remain warm through next week, but we also remain unsettled. Several chances for showers and thunderstorms continue into next week. So a fairly busy forecast looking like summer uh, in terms of our pattern here in West Michigan. Upper 70s, yeah. It's gonna feel nice. <laughs> All right, thank you, Blake.